Oh, hi there. Um, I'm going to talk about an immensely awkward subject. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I really didn't want to bring this up on my YouTube channel. I'd thought about it for a while and look, I understand from uh, my viewers perspective I make a lot of controversial videos a lot of people don't like some of the stuff I have to say and they'll attack my character that's that's human nature it's uh, jealousy and a whole pile of other things um, but um, I have frenemies I have friends I have overly attached girlfriends I have all sorts of people who have all sorts of opinions about me and the thing is uh, I discussed antipsychotic medication and um, the thing about it is uh, it's uh, well known to uh, make your equipment not work I'm not gonna lie uh, my junk don't work quite as well as it used to uh, when I was 20 years old, you know, up until before I started taking this medication, actually, it was perfectly normal. Uh, I could get an erection like that. And, um, um, yeah, I, I was comfortable with my sexuality. Um, not going to go into too much detail about that. Um, but the thing is, um, with... Uh, these frenemies, overly attached girlfriends, and all this sort of stuff. Um, they like to insult people, and uh, the predictable insult is uh, insulting the size of your penis. Um, the thing is, they've never seen my penis. There are no dick pictures of mine on the internet. I've made careful effort. To make sure that there are none. Um, um, so this is yeah, this is a real awkward conversation. I have no idea who's watching this. I have no idea how many people are watching this. I have no idea about these sort of things. Now, the equipment does still work, even though I'm on antipsychotic medication. It doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. Um, you know, uh, I am getting older. I'm not old, but you know, the stuff still works. But I have to get off this antipsychotic medication because I don't want those side effects to start to become permanent. Because something like one out of four every men over 40 experience erectile dysfunction anyway. And why would I want to increase the odds? Uh, there are various medications that help out with that, but you know, I don't think I need them. Um, uh, no, one of the things that's a predictable insult is that they like to say that you have a small penis. Uh, with me, look, the truth is, it's inevitably that people are going to know, like when I start banging chicks, because I've been on hiatus of banging chicks for my entire life, so that is going to change, you know. Anyway, um... So, there's no sense in me lying about it. It's average. It's not colossal. It's not small. It's average. It's a little bit bigger than three fingers. And it's uh, a little bit bigger than six inches. And that's about right. Uh, it looks like a normal one to me. As far as um, upkeep and cleanliness and all that sort of stuff does, I mean, I shower every day. I um, I trim it similarly to how I do with my beard. So although not perfect, it's still you know I, I do uh, you know I, I do maintenance every now and then uh, to keep things you know uh, civilized. So I don't look like some throwback caveman or something like that. In case anyone was wondering. Um, not going to discuss everything about uh, my ding dong, but um, yeah, uh, 
nothing really special about it. It's, I mean, as Dave Chappelle said, if you cut off a hundred dicks or whatever and put them all in a row, he wouldn't be able to tell which one was his and which one wasn't. Or he said something to the effect of, I forget what the, the joke was, but uh, I guess that's uh, the same sort of thing with me. Um, um, I do have to be extremely cautious because the first chick that comes around, I do not trust her not to uh, take a picture of it. I don't, I just don't trust her. I don't care how nice she is or what situation it is. I'm going to be ever wary about that. And when I'm actually doing the deed and actually screwing a chick, I'm going to be very cautious that I'm not in a room I don't know because I hate for there to be a, some sort of a camera, you know, a, a little bit paranoid, man, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm uh, not like all the other guys, I'm, uh, I'm unique, and I don't, there's certain things I don't want happening, and, uh, I only want my fizzog on the internet, um, very self-conscious uh, although I'm making this video describing uh, the functions of my anatomy I'm not embarrassed by it. it's yeah it's you know it's not gonna win an award but you know it, it ain't too bad uh, it still works I keep it tidy a um, little above average I guess not humongous or anything like that but um, you know, uh, just being honest here, because I'd heard through the grapevine that there were uh, parties that may be interested in this type of conversation. I look, if you don't want to even know about it, I wouldn't blame you. Just you know, click the off switch or the X button on the corner of your YouTube uh, web page and stop watching this video. I wouldn't blame you at all. But uh, I have to make this video explaining um, that um, the insults that are being hurled at me um, that I, I know, I haven't seen it directly, but uh, it's a predictable insult. It's, it's really, you know, it's not intelligent. It's, uh, it's underhanded, really. Cowardly and um, stupid. Any old idiot can start insulting the uh, your uh, extensions, and uh, you know, it doesn't. Uh, it's not very unique. It's not uh, not very creative to go. Oh, he's got a small penis. <laughs> I haven't actually seen it myself, but. <laughs> That's so something a stupid woman would say. Um, um, yeah, uh, gotta be very self-conscious. I mean, you gotta you gotta respect your member. Um, uh, I have, uh, you know, there's the old adage: you use it or you lose it. So I have watched a fair amount of. Uh, naughty videos on the internet uh, some of which I'm not particularly proud of um, but they were you know I was, I was in a different headspace and uh, there were things going on and it, it, it's, it's not what you think um, anyway um, yeah um, I am um, really, really interested in uh, going with uh, uh, some sort of uh, attractive looking female figure. Um, I'm not really uh, too um, uh, specific about exactly what I want, but uh, the most important part of her is her soul. Uh, um, I mean, boobs and a great ass and nice legs and a uh, nice face and nice hair. 
are uh, nice, but uh, the most important thing is the soul. Um, because, uh, to be honest with you, after being on hiatus for 30 years, I really don't feel like putting up with a bunch of crap. I really, really don't, man. I don't feel like being dragged through the meat grinder. I don't think I deserve it. I don't think, um, I don't think it's fair. You know, I'm a reasonable guy. Uh, no reason things can't be sorted out uh, in an appropriate fashion. Uh, as I said in a previous video, um, there's some topics that I have some knowledge of. Um, uh, based on my experience, um, mostly from uh, me growing up um, in my uh, childhood education and um, what my beliefs are, how it should be sort of done, but you can't really bring that up with an overly attached girlfriend because they get a little crazy. They become unreasonable. They become um, intimidating. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that with them. I mean, this is an important subject, and we should be able to, you know, talk like grown-ups. But they'll get all weird about it. Um, and they'll try and brainwash me or something like that, and or uh, bitch slap me with a, with a vagina or something like that. I don't know. Um, one has to be wary of such things uh, because you know, 50 years ago, the very concept of that happening was laughable but nowadays man you start to think of all the ways they can get at you and <laughs> you know uh, then using other men to make you jealous or to beat you up or to intimidate you or to make you jealous or make you think whatever they want you to um, is very real and um, it's not just that but it's how they behave in front of you, or around you, about you, what they say and what they don't do or do do. And um, it's, it's a complicated situation. I vaguely understand it. Um, this sort of thing happens to people who um, try to become YouTube personalities as I try to become. I need to develop a fan base. If you're not that bad looking a guy, which I'm not, I mean, my nose is a little big, whatever, nobody's perfect. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm actually not that bad looking guy, really. Um, uh, I gotta work on the body though. Uh, I feel like I could have a more muscular body if I tried. So that means stopping drinking as much and exercising more. But I think I'm gonna do that at home actually, because I don't want anyone seeing me. When I'm knowing how strong I am. And there are plenty of ways to do it, and I can afford weightlifting equipment. I don't have to go to a gym to do that. Yeah. I'm, uh. You know, you know, uh I've been a loner for too long, man. I'm, I'm disconnected from, uh. what's normal society and things like that. I, you know, uh. I, tell you, I certainly hate to be in this position for this long and just carry on, you know, drinking, eating unhealthy, not exercising, um, becoming more and more of a creep as I grow up. And like, when I'm like 50 or something like that, I get introduced to the world and I'm like uh, Danny DeVito as the penguin. <laughs> uh, I don't want that. No. You know what? I think I'm more handsome than Brad Pitt, if you must know. Uh, sure, he's in better shape, and he's got a, I guess, a bit better of a face than I do, but he's a stinking Jew lover. So screw him! Anyway, um, yeah, don't want to drift off topic. Um, I am concerned because I have uh, challenges yet to be had in the future. Uh, I have the sneaking suspicion my days of embarrassment are not over. Um, I will prevail though, 
because bad things happen to everyone and you have to overcome them to uh, get to where you want to be in life a point to where you don't remember what it feels like for the bad times anymore you remember what it's like in your immediate surroundings how good you feel then and you are where you want to be and that's where I strive I don't understand the reasoning why I'm not quite there yet um, gonna keep working on it though it may take some time but uh, I'll get there you watch in the meantime any old dumb broad or whoever can hurl any insults they want but I know that uh, at least to some extent they're not true uh, look, I'm trying to be as honest as possible about this thing because it's it's a pressing issue so let me make one thing clear you are not going to see a picture ever uh, it is strictly between me and whatever chicks I'm banging at the time so um, obviously there's gonna be more than one chick maybe even two chicks at one time ooh that'd be good ooh or even possibly three at one time ooh that'd be awesome um, I'm gonna have to be conditioned into uh, being in that sort of situation though because as of now you know what I don't actually like being touched very much by anybody um, I guess it's part of being a loner for so long um, I can overcome that I know it's it's normal to have uh, interaction uh, and it's not like it's weird with uh, whatever little action I get like uh, uh, there's this uh, Russian chick who I hugged and that was normal um, but um, um, still uh, Gotta work on some things, you know. I gotta, gotta brace myself for uh, more intellectually challenging problems in the future. So anyway, gonna work on that. Uh, sum everything up. I keep things tidy down there. It still works to an extent. Not quite as well as it did before, but that would change as soon as I stop taking the antipsychotics, which is my end game result. And it should go back to normal after that. Um, it's it's of average size, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie and say it's uh, the size of a uh, whatever. You know, like, uh, it, I, I don't even want to. They use a thing to describe it, uh, you know. That's they, they forget about that. Um, so this video is not appropriate for everyone. Um, it's uh, one I had to make because there were some questions and some insults that were going on about me that um, I want to make an attempt to resolve and. Uh, if people could understand my point of view and uh, you know know exactly what it's like to be me for maybe five minutes ten minutes however long this video is I forget now I don't actually have a little timer on my uh, webcam which would be nice I'd like to have a timer so I know how long I've been talking for uh, but I won't know that until I've stopped the video so uh, yeah, those were the main points I wanted to bring up. Um, yeah, um, I know there there are definitely some women out there that um, don't like uh, some male body hair, like they don't like hair in the armpits. Uh, uh, they don't like chest hair. I don't have much chest hair, and no hairs that are out of place. I I, I keep track of that as well. Um, but I'm not going to be like wrestlers who shave their legs and armpits and things like that. You know, man, I'm a man. I'm supposed to have some hair, and you can just deal with it. Uh, anyway, um, 
yeah, not much more I can add to this story. Um, I just would like people not to get the wrong idea about me. So anyway, um, yeah, talk to you peoples later on. Good day.